What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, um, the video you're watching now is a video of ESN buffer zone you get in the forest. Uh, this is ESN uh, tour guide, actually on tour of the facilities ESN have set up in the forest to deter headsmen, you know, from actually attacking um, the southeastern people you get and they have been in the forest for some for some time now right from their formation they have been in the forest so they are showing they are showing to the world their formation that is in other words you can call it the stronghold is an impenetrable uh region nobody know where the location of this is being filmed nobody actually knows even the nigeria military do not know and of course you know recently um the nigerian military engaged esn in a very fierce battle and that battle actually ended in a stalemate the nigerian could not defeat esn and in fact it was in, in on the other side nigerian according to what we heard ipob said nigeria sustained casualties you get and um the casualty in that some of Nigerian soldiers were killed and most of them ran away. There was even a video that is circulating on the internet of a soldier that ran to one of these companies. He was shielded by that uh, company. So now they, there is actually a stalemate. So guys, um, I want you to just watch this video and then I'll be back with more analysis.
All right, guys. So you can see here that um, why the ESN have to display this video is actually, to me, I feel is to send a message to the enemies that they mean business this time around. That is the essence of this uh, video. Because some people might actually think uh, this is revealing secrets. You get it. And those of you who want to start attacking us, that why are we revealing this video? You should know that it is ESM themselves that reveal this video. You get it? So it's not we. We did not went there to start shooting this video. They were the one that released the video to the world. And I think it's to actually send a message to, um, to the enemies that... It is not business as usual that this time around they mean business and they are out to protect the forest of uh, the southeast from from rampaging full uh, fulani headsmen you see what fulani headsmen are doing just recently in oyo the very capital of oyo we saw how more than 250 houses were burnt and they said it is thugs you get who hired those thugs so nobody we you see there are a lot of things going on you get it the more you look the less you see dogs burnt down just recently on thursday dogs burnt down more than 200 houses in the very capital of or your state who are these dogs you see it's just recently that the seriki of fulani house was burnt so and they burnt down the one of um they burnt down uh, this person uh, um sunday Higo house and it was alleged it was thugs. Who sponsored these thugs? You see, those are the things we are talking of. It's the full and themselves. They want to appear as if they're not the one. They want to appear invisible. They want to appear behind the curtain and commit atrocities and send these thugs to go and do it so that people will not trace it to them. That is what is happening. So what do you guys think on this? Drop your comment below.